What up, what up, everyone? My name is William, aka Wilson. Welcome to the channel. In this channel, I talk about all things gig economy. Basically, recording myself doing bike deliveries here in downtown LA. Sometimes other cities, other other places, but uh, particularly downtown LA. Uh, I do apps such as uh, Uber Eats, DoorDash, Caviar, anything that I can get my hands on really, but those are the ones that I currently do. Uh, I like to give myself some challenges. I like to do some how-to videos, showing you how I did certain things, and uh, I like to just try to make as much money as possible, and at the same time, have a little fun out here. In crazy city it's a huge city there's always a lot of stuff going on so i like to capture all that stuff so i basically just record myself all day long in snippets here and there and uh, i'm getting a phone call that i think i must take so uh i'll get you guys i'll get back to you in a minute but welcome Not sure who the fuck called me but whatever uh i just picked up here at waba grill first delivery of the day it was on my way to work on my way to downtown LA which is where I work um, kind of cool quick five bucks you know for the commute to work not bad not bad so uh, right now I'm headed to uh, the city the busy hot zone I'm coming in a little late today I just decided to snuggle up with my bed. Just decided to snuggle and chill. And also because I had to work on uh, these videos. I had two I had to work on. How one I did on Friday, I had to do a thumbnail. Just right my foot. And I also had to work on the one I did yesterday on Monday. Had some, yesterday I did a challenge. Told myself I'm gonna make 200 bucks. And I ain't going home till I do it, till I get there. Fortunately, I made it in eight hours. Pretty fucking good day. 25 bucks an hour. Smashing the whole day. It's pretty good. So I made $216 in eight hours. Balling. I think it was more than 25 bucks an hour as a matter of fact. It's like ooh, ooh, ooh. Ooh. Oh nice. So I squeeze that little thing. So anyway, yeah, that's why I was just editing it, putting the stats, the breakdown, the mileage, all that good stuff. Made the thumbnails and uploaded it. So I got some stuff done and I'm coming out here now. So today, I don't have any challenges. Just gonna kind of chill, hang out, have a good time, rant. Talk about random stuff, see what's going on in downtown LA. See if anything crazy happens in the city. And just try to make as much money as possible and uh yeah you guys uh thanks for riding along with me hope you guys enjoy the video if you guys want to see more of this stuff like and subscribe if not you guys could just watch see what happens skip through the video see if anything crazy happens but yeah i'll catch you in a minute all right first delivery in the bag um I'm getting a little pain on my right knee when i pedal i think i've been putting too much uh too much strain on it so i gotta chill today might have to ride a little slowly or you know put more of the effort on the left knee balance it out because yeah when i take off i usually push the strongest with the left with the right knee with the right leg so uh, sometimes I end up, uh, when I feel really good and energetic, I tend to put
put a lot of uh, strength into my pedaling which uh, I mean in a, it's cool like at the, in the short run but in the long run if I'm doing that all day then it really does put a lot of strain on my knee just causes the pain so I gotta chill just take it easy let my knee kind of recover you know I go to beast mode on this on this bike surprised I haven't snapped the bike in half <laughs> you know what I'm saying shit Can't use the front brake for six bucks to pick up and drop off. Oh, I got two. Okay, let's accept this one. Another six bucks, accept. So I got two pickups at California Chicken Cafe. I'm gonna pick up there and uh, drop it. That's 12 bucks. Nice. And I got a two dollar tip for that Uber delivery. So that's 12, seven, how much is that? It's almost, that's 19 bucks, right off the bat. Cool. Arriving here at the California Chicken Cafe. Just lock up my back tire so no one takes my shit. Only takes like fucking 10 seconds, not even 10 seconds. It takes like five. Alright, let's do this. So I'm picking up two. Let's see, Bubble. Hope they're ready. Slide after arrival. And it's Michael. And wow, not ready. Four. Guess we gotta wait. It was quite a wait here at a California cafe, chicken cafe, but it's all good. I was talking to a Jay here. He does Uber, he does DoorDash, no Uber, yeah, DoorDash and Postmates on a scooter. Just talking it up. It's cool to meet him. Uh, but now I got to get back on this grind. So this delivery, let's see. All right, we got to take it to Spring Street. All right, uh, cool. let's go this way actually. Quicker way to get to Spring Street. Where is this at? What's up man? What's going on? I need me some water, son. All right, Spring Street's only two blocks up. So I'm gonna drop this off real quick and head to my other delivery. I text both my customers, let them know that I'm the at the restaurant waiting for their food. Cause uh, they made me be really late. It's supposed to be delivered by 1.39. And it's uh, 1.52 already. 14 minutes, 13, 14 minutes late. Whoa. So yeah, that's quite a lot. What the fuck? Okay. Interesting. Got a chaos. Oh, there's construction going on. Alright, here we are. Spring Street. So it looks like it's gonna be on my right hand side. It's probably gonna be this building here. Got that dropped off, had to go up, go upstairs, take the elevator real quick. Oh shit, let me roll up in there. It's like, uh, I gotta go pick up right now, burger time. Uh, this is a new Eats pickup that I accepted because it's headed south in the direction of the DoorDash delivery. It's only a block away, so I'm gonna go snag it real quick and make my way down. Um, four bucks. Not bad. Put throw it in the bag. You 
and it's good to accept these orders when they're on their way you're not gonna take that much longer for the delivery so take advantage monopolize all right let's go grab a burger time who is this one it's a new spot this one i wonder let me check This burger time? Is this burger time? Okay. Yeah, I've got a pickup for Abraham. Thank you. Alright, gotta wait. Okay. Two, three minutes, you heard her. Good shit. i to take a picture of her. The boomerang. Ooh. Ciao. <laughs> I've been really trying, baby. Trying to hold back this feeling for so long. And if you feel like I feel, baby, whoa, well, come on, come on, let's get it on. Show her to the delivery. It took way too long, but uh, keeping in, I'm contacting, I'm contacting my customer, letting her know that uh, it took a while for the food. But uh, yeah, just letting her know what's up. Customers appreciate communication. Just let her know about your whereabouts. Wow. That's gonna help. Big ass truck. <laughs> oh my god, dramatic. That was funny though. Uh, just cause they're gonna let me in with my bike. Alright, let me lock her up. Only takes seconds. Scout. Oh shit. Alright, so now I'm gonna drop off the burger time delivery. That place is new. The burgers the burger uh what's it called? The burger stop. Um, the, the, the young girl that I was working there was telling me a little bit of the story these guys were just selling uh, they were just selling their burgers you know outside of breweries and stuff like that made their own recipes and uh, worked their way up now they're opening their restaurant it's American dream right there son you know you gotta work you gotta put in the work keep, keep at it Stay consistent and then those dreams will happen <sighs> pretty awesome story now they're selling right here in a very prime location downtown LA all right so right now I'm gonna drop this Uber Eats one kind of near the freeway See the freeway up ahead. Just gonna drop this off and then make my way back towards downtown LA. So I have a catering company. Well, me and my buddy started a catering company. With tacos, paper plate tacos. We were, we were doing the same thing. We we're uh, selling tacos outside of. Breweries, events, and we'll do catering gigs too. These things are a lot of fun, man. You meet a lot of people. Very cool. Just feeding people. Tacos. Everybody loves tacos, especially in the, in the Los Angeles. It's like that's an LA thing, man. Tacos. Everybody loves tacos here. 
Get on this. These deliveries done. I'm scheduled with DoorDash till what time? Can I extend my dash? No, I'm 15 minutes left. All right. So let's see how much I got so far. Made 10 bucks with Uber or 11 and uh, 12. So it's 22 bucks. And I what, an hour? Shit. I'll take it. Taking a little break here at uh, Grand Hope Park. It's a nice park, man. I like it a lot. I think this is where I'm going to have my uh, crank hustle meeting because it's central to downtown LA nice and open we can actually have a meeting like fucking here in the grass or one of these ledges you know it really doesn't matter we can fucking sit on the floor or sit on ledges it doesn't really matter like it's we i think we could do it i was thinking maybe a tuesday 3 p.m 3 p.m is really when everything kind of dies down have like an hour meeting hour and a half and then kind of we all could just gonna go back on our grind uh, i was thinking maybe march 10th because March 3rd is where a lot of there's a lot of voting going on. I don't want to I don't want this meeting to get in the way of that. So I think the next day, the next week will be perfect. March 10th gives us enough time to prepare and to let everyone know that we can meet up and talk about a lot. There's a lot of stuff going on in this uh, gig economy business. It's nice to uh, be able to talk about it with each other, and, like our experiences, what we learn, and all that good stuff. That way we can uh, help each other make more money and uh, be more effective and learn ways to do things easier. Up our ratings, up our tips, you know. And just be more effective. But uh, it's all in the works. First crank custom meeting and I've been talking about it for a while. It's, it's just, you know, a lot of, I have a lot of shit going on. But no excuses. Let's get it done. Uh, but yeah, I got a pickup right now at the Hob Habit Burger. It's kind of far. But I only took it because it's the last delivery I have with DoorDash and then my schedule ends. And I have a solid schedule today, so let's do it. Alright, so I got my uh, DoorDash pickup. This one's kind of far. But like I said, I took it only because it's going to slow down right now around this time so accepting rides that are you know kind of far out it's not a bad idea because if you don't accept these you're not gonna get much you know you get you're not gonna get any other deliveries and it's a good time to kind of just take these rides and just take your time be energized not really try to rush it that's what i'm gonna do right now just take a chill over there I'm supposed to be there in five minutes. Oh, sorry. But yeah, right. I'm gonna be there in seven or eight minutes. Take my sweet ass time, son. Just chill. About to do like eight, nine, eight, ten, eleven miles an hour. Just enjoy the view, enjoy the sunlight. You know. Don't forget to enjoy your day, fellas good to be alive it's good out here all right so just ended my dash and my next one is at 3 30 to 5 <laughs> which is not really that busy but all right Let's see if there's any schedules available for downtown LA If not at school, I'm going to stick to Uber Eats. I learned my lesson on Friday when uh, I went out to Beverly Hills and uh, and West, uh, West Hollywood to try to like uh, make up or get a DoorDash schedule. It's like a double multi-app. And then, it, and then it, it ended up backfiring. So I learned that if I just do Uber Eats, I'll be able to make still okay money 
maybe not my $200 a day, but I can still probably bring 150, at least 120, you know. So I gotta kind of check myself sometimes, you know. Although it was nice to try something different and go out there and uh, check out Beverly Hills and see the way people live. Motherfuckers are rich as fuck. Oh my god, I just realized how rich people are. It's disgusting. <laughs> um, okay, I'm not going to accept that. <laughs> no, I'm kidding, guys. Uh, you know, they, they all obviously worked their way to where they're at. But it's crazy the way they carry themselves. Uh, I felt it, you know. I'm just a fucking object in the road for them. <clears throat> so it was definitely something. It was definitely a different vibe, but a good learning experience overall. But uh, yeah, I'm just gonna stick out here uh, doing DoorDash. I mean Uber Eats. I'm getting deliveries, but they're all kind of far. I'm just gonna accept the ones that are convenient and decent and pay. I'm just stack my chips little by little. And in hustle mode right now, which I expect it around this time. But we'll see. Ooh, are we about to hit the light? I'll take this shit. I'm getting a little hungry. Uh, making my way to downtown making my way downtown oh shit i gotta get my schedule and son oh snap this is for uh tuesday i got these uh fucking like, i have like seven alarms <laughs> so i can uh make sure i don't miss getting my schedules I'm getting way better at it, but trust me, I sucked so bad because I would always miss it. Would always, always miss it. Uh, anyway, here I am. Look at the Staples Center. Check it out. Some statues. LA King. Look, Rabbitell. Got Irvin Magic Johnson. And we got a. Uh, Kareem. At the pool, Jabbar. These are statues. I'm sure they're gonna make a. Uh, oh, let's see who else is here. Check it, check, check. Look at, look at, look at here. Oscar de la Hoya, legend. We got uh, Jerry West. They're gonna left. Shaquille O'Neal. <laughs> I don't know who the fuck this guy is. This is, uh, hold on, let me turn around. Elgin Baylor. Okay, nice. So they're gonna for sure put a Kobe statue soon. It's probably in the works. Not yet though. That's LA Live Across. Uh, yeah, so we're gonna just get back on the grind. These are amazing statues, actually. Very creative. All right, so I'm gonna get back on it. It's three o'clock. It's like probably the slowest time of the day, but there's still business. I'm gonna go in and uh, so we can figure out and get some stuff. Fucking with me. Spells dangerous. Well, I took an amazing break here. I'm a little, uh, little spot that I love to hang out at. That was fun. So, um, it's about to be six o'clock. 
got about three hours to just try to maximize on the uh, on the apps. Oh, my knee! I still feel it. It's feeling a little better. Excuse me. But uh, yeah, let's go in here and try to uh, see what I can squeeze in for the next three hours. I'm excited. We'll see. Will I even push the three hours? So, uh, about to go at it. I got a uh, drop off, Uber Eats drop off, not too far away. Grand and 12. Cool, cool. Not too far away. What is an ice cream truck doing in downtown LA? <laughs> I wonder if that would work if you have an ice cream truck just selling in downtown LA. Maybe it was like vegan ice cream. Probably so. I didn't hear you, man. Check it out. Downtown LA alleys are lit now. Super bright. You know? Now we're just kind of chilling. They don't even look that ghetto. Beverly Hills' uh, fucking alleys look worse than this shit. It's interesting, huh? Looks good, looks good. Anyway, I got a pickup at Joey Joe's Pizza. So that's where I'm headed right now. About to pick up some food. Uh, it's pizza by the slice, it's not the full pizza. Although I could have carried that anyway. Snagged up here at uh, Joe's Pizza. <clears throat> About to take it to. Okay, okay. I know where we're going. Going to 12th and Grand. Just gonna go straight down here. And uh, make a ride on maybe Olympic. We'll see.
just letting my customer know that I'll be there in like two minutes. Okay, be there on uh, Grand Street, like two minutes. I'll be there. I'm very punctual. Very, very good. Two minutes away. Alright, y'all watch. Five minutes forty. Sooner. Right, there you go. They're making their way down, so I'm pretty sure I'm gonna meet them right when they get there. Timing is everything, baby. Gotta calculate this shit, right? But uh, yeah, I'm about to get here right now. See if my customer comes out. All right, I'm arriving here. Cool. About 30 seconds later, it's a pretty good timing. I did get there a little early, so right, let's get back on it. Get back on it. Get back on it. 713. I've been taking it very chill today. Probably just that Tuesday vibe, you know. Been trying to get crazy today. So a lot of people wearing green. Why is everybody wearing green? Did I miss something? No one sent me a memo. No bulletin support. No group text. No notification. No mass text. Come on, what's going on? minutes so I, I locked up my back rim just gonna chill inside okay so I need a drink actually do you serve beer all right let's take a sake bomb shit some sake I don't got none of that either. Not yet, not yet. I guess I think they're waiting for on their permits. Okay. So these guys are still waiting on their liquor license. They haven't got it yet. Surprise. This has been all food. They're doing pretty good with all the whole liquor thing. They're gonna kill it once they get their fucking liquor license. So selling beer, sake, all that good stuff. Anyway, so I gotta drop off. These guys want me to go upstairs. That's not gonna happen. Let me call them. It's one of those uh, private. Uh, that building, basically, see that green one with the green on top? That's the building. They want me to go upstairs. Uh, it's not gonna happen. So let me call them and tell them that they need to have to come downstairs and I'll be there like in a couple of minutes. So uh, I'm calling them now. They're not gonna answer. No bueno. No bueno. When I get lost, yeah, I get lost. Oh, they didn't answer. No. 
I'll figure it out. So uh, I'm wrapping up the night. It's a good day today. Probably do it. I didn't do as much filming as I normally do, but uh, overall, pretty good day, pretty fun day. Let's see what the summer is. So today. Six trips. I made uh, 32 bucks, and then uh, I got a referral award, meaning so one of my boys uh, accepted my invite and did the rides. So I got a little, a hundred, a hundred little hundo, hundred bucks, so 132. And then with DoorDash, I didn't make that much. I made what? 18 bucks. So 18. It's 18. Plus 132. That's 150. So 150 today. <coughs> Not bad. So I made 150 bucks, less than half a day. It's kind of chilling, you know. But uh, and then uh, oh, see, I rode a 21 mile. No, 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 no. I'm reading this wrong. Check this out real quick. So my speedometer reads 19 miles. 8.9 average, 19 max. Yeah, that's about it. So, very, very short day. But as y'all can see, a lot of different ways to make money in this business. But uh, anyway, thanks for joining. Thanks for riding along with me. So, just a regular Tuesday. Usually the slowest day of the week. But uh, yeah, thank you guys for uh, being part of it. Thanks for uh, liking the videos and being part of the fam. Crank Hustle fam. I uh, hope you guys enjoy it. Uh, and I'll see you guys on the next one. I'm, uh, tomorrow I got a big goal. And I'm going to talk about how uh, I got a how-to video tomorrow. So stay tuned for that. I got a big ambitious goal tomorrow. So we'll see. We'll see how it goes. We'll see you guys then. Thanks for watching. Be safe out there. Take care of each other. And uh, get that money. Peace. These guys riding on a scooter and shit like crazy. Whose friends are these? <laughs> I think there's three people on this scooter. Look at these guys. Oh my god. And then you have the fucking roller brace squad right here. Oh, oh shit. Downtown LA. Yep. Downtown LA is about. We're back. Alright, alright, alright. Alright, guys. Good night. Right, let me cut through here real quick. Oh, shit. I got a tip on Uber. Nice. So it's gonna cut through here to the little Tokyo market. behind the scenes I feel like this video is one of those uh, you know when you watch the Avengers movies or one of those and then like they show like some shit at the end I know it's like oh shit I wasn't expecting that this is one of those it's out here in the back in the corners of uh, little Tokyo 
not gonna buy me a little brewski and end my night like that. For those of y'all that don't know, y'all best to know. It's a little family moment right here. Beer. Brewski. I just do it. Fuck it. You might as well watch. Y'all here. Shit. What should I drink to end the night? To celebrate a successful day? Oh. Oh. Hmm. I just want one. Just one. One little beer. Maybe some gum too. I'll take uh they're all shitty beers but uh I guess I'll do uh Hi I think it's some gum too some chiclets where the chick uh chick oh there you go so I smell like 